Well, here we are at the Sawdust Festival here in beautiful Laguna Beach. It is the 50th anniversary. So I decided to get in my VW bus here and see what artists that I can drive up to and say hello to. Come on along. Right now we're with Jay Grant. He is the, the president of the Sawdust Festival. You are the president of uh, the board, right? That's correct. I've been here at the Sawdust 43 years. I've been on the board director wow. six years, the last six years, and president the last two years. And this is the 50th year, right? We are celebrating our 50th anniversary, a half century of local Laguna Beach artists uh, creating their own handmade art and crafts and then selling them here in this uh, rustic artist village that arises every summer. And we are very, very proud of this milestone of 50 years of having our customers, our visitors, come to this beautiful three-acre eucalyptus grove, which is a setting for the sawdust, and enjoying a fantastic day. And I would like to personally uh, invite all your viewers as president of the sawdust to come down and just enjoy the sawdust. It's a fantastic place to visit. It is, and you got to tell me, you've been here 43 years, yes. and I know your wife has been here quite a while, too. My right? wife is a founding member of the show. She's wow. been here the entire time. And so I married her in 1974, and I've been here ever since. So the changes that you've seen, back then, was it as widespread or large as it is now? We've had the same size show. It's three acres, mm -hmm. and we've had pretty much the same number of booths and artists. Wow. What has changed is back in the late 60s and 70s, there were fewer city regulations. Mm -hmm. So we used to build three and four story booths that were <laughs> very creative and rustic. And of course, all the regulations for electricity and for uh, security and all that's changed. So yeah. we're, it's a much cleaner show now, but it was pretty funky and rustic back then. Uh, and we had a great time back in those days. Late 60s and 70s was a interesting time in America and we were a part of it. And I think back then, I, I remember coming back probably uh, in the early 80s, uh -huh. did you have real sawdust back then? Now it's bark chips. <laughs> well, yes, we've always had sawdust or bark chips. The uh, fire department didn't like the finely, uh, the finely uh, fine sawdust, or they wanted us to have a little thicker sawdust in case there was any kind of a fire. Yeah, well, I like it better too. It doesn't yeah. stick to your shoes. That's right. So over these years, yes. as far as the way it has evolved, how have you seen the art change as far as the different kinds of artists that have come in? Well, we have every kind of possible media here. And I wouldn't say that the art has changed much what is unique about the sawdust is everything that's sold by the artist is handmade and 75% of what they sell must be created by themselves. So there's nothing in the sawdust that's bought from a catalog. There's nothing at the sawdust is bought overseas, for instance, and brought in. Uh, and so the sawdust has been consistent. And I think that's one of its strengths is that in the midst of all the changes uh, over the years, our art has stayed uh, very personal to the artist. Very, uh, it's very beautiful. They're very proud of what they create, and it's all handmade and done by local Laguna Beach artists. Yeah, and I want to mention some of the ways that you guys give back. You have the the artist fund, the benevolent fund. Yes. You also do uh, just a, a general art fund for kids, right? We do. Uh, we have a what's called the artist benevolence fund, and that is a fund for artists who are in crisis. Mm -hmm. For instance, some of our viewers here may remember the 1993 Laguna Beach firestorm in which there were some uh, 400 houses in Laguna Burn, including my house. And that fund helped the artists get reestablished. But we also reach out to the poor and disadvantaged in our local area. We bring uh, kids from the inner city down here to, uh, to the sawdust and we host them and give them an, uh, an opportunity to have access to craft projects and art programs that they usually could uh, never participate in. You have a lot of activities for uh, both people to come and watch, seeing art being made, glass blowing. 
Well, the Sawdust Festival is uh, something for the entire family, from a toddler all the way up to the elderly. We, uh, we welcome all who come here. There are demonstrations constantly going on. We, and, and if you visit us, you can create your own hand-thrown ceramic pot. You can paint your own painting. Uh, we have fantastic uh, glass blowers here. You can watch them uh, blow a vase and create some beautiful glass. We have a face painter here. <laughs> we have a great array of entertainment um, and also fantastic food. So there's something here for everyone. You will not be disappointed if you come down to the sawdust. You won't. What are the hours here? We are open every single day, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We run all the way through the last Sunday of August. All right, and we have to mention your wife's name and her booth. My wife's name is Nikki, uh, N-I-K-K-I. She uh, uh, does fantastic jewelry. Uh, my son and his wife are partners uh, with my wife and their son, my grandson, is growing up. So we're three generations of the Grants down here at the Sawdust. And uh, their booth, you can see the waterfall behind us, is right up uh, the stairs by the, uh, the deck where they have the music. And it's uh, right over here. Uh, to my left. So if you want to come by, what's the booth number? Booth number 500. And if you come up, uh, ask for Jay, and I'd love to greet you and welcome you to the sawdust. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah.